Wow. Is this on every server? There's one on, uh, it's on Feralina too. On Classic? Yeah. I'll go look at that in a minute, man. Horde are doing it too? Holy shit, this is Moonguard right here. Wow. Holy shit, man. This is fucking beautiful. Look at all of these different communities. I really think the WoW community is one of the best communities online. I mean, it, it does have... Every rose has its thorns. But the WoW community, I do feel, is genuine in a lot of ways. I'll give you an example. Whenever Mitch was hated by LSF and on Twitch in general, the one place that he knew, and we talked about this, that he knew he could always come back to and still have people that cared about him and liked him was the WoW community. Invite me to another realm. Yeah, look at them all. They're all like this, man. Uh, let's see, Proudmoor? What, what's going on over at Proudmoor? Let me see here. Just a little group. I think this is like, what? You should check out Feralina. Okay, uh, I'll go over there in just a minute. I just wanted to see a few more of these men. Let me go back over and uh, I saw the moon guard one, didn't I? Vizira says to me, he says like, yeah, man, it's a sad day, but it's good to remember that there's a lot of love out here too. I think that's really true. Uh, it is like, I, I know that for, um, for me, like you, you see that and like, you see like how much overwhelming support, you know, people like this get. And I hope that really like people, when this is going to change is the time that people get this level of support before they do it. They get this support and they get this positive, uh, this positive reinforcement before it happens. Look at that. We've even got a horde right there. Nobody's even attacking him. Think about that. Nobody's even fucking attacking him, man. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of fucking people. Best game in the world. Uh, I, I mean, I, I'd say that it's pretty close to being the best community in the world. I'll say that for sure. How many people do you think are there? Uh, probably like 300 or 400 people, if I had to guess. It's uh, it's a shame something tragic like this has to happen for people to band up in solidarity. Yeah, I mean, I uh, I, I agree with you honestly. I think that we see a lot of uh, a lot of people that think that it's kind of like its own thing or whatever. But um, yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. Do you think Blizzard should ban him as a symbol? I, I don't really think that it matters honestly. Like. It's not really about, like, Blizzard banning him or anything like that. I mean, this is not... Like, obviously, like, him losing his WoW account probably meant a lot to him. And, like, I, I know he probably even admitted that a few times, that it meant a lot to him. But uh, I, I feel like if they did that, people would just kind of turn it into something else. I think they should just, yeah, just, as I said, make him a fucking NPC, man. Like, make him the PvP vendor for Shadowlands. People respected Wreckful in the WoW community all the way all the way up until the end like there's never a point where people didn't respect wreckful or, or didn't like him you know uh am i dcing oh there we go oh wow and these are all i want you guys to keep in mind uh these are all let me just get an idea what this is uh look at that man these are all different servers every single one of these is different servers of people coming together McConnell, has there ever been this many? This is the biggest, the biggest uh, demonstration we ever had in game, isn't it? For all these different realms and shit to do it at the yeah. same time and stuff, yeah, for sure. I, I feel like there's nothing that there. This has never been bigger before. Wow.
I, I mean, I must have gone through like 10 realms so far just to see every single one of these people. Uh, I'm going to go over to Feralina and we'll see what's going on over in Classic and we'll see if it's the same thing, okay? Look at him, man. Everybody's coming on over here. Wow. Give me one sec. We'll go inside here. Holy shit. Wow. Fucking wow, dude. This is the classic experience. Yeah, even classic wow is doing it. Everybody is fucking doing it, man. This is beautiful. I, I can't believe it. Look at all these people. Holy shit, man. That's actually a really cool picture right there, too. Uh, There we go. Alright, now I'm good. Fuck, man. Shit. Go to Orgamar and Horde Tunes. They're doing it outside the War Chief's hut. All right, I'll, I'll go look at a Horde character too. I, I guess I might as well, right? Uh, social distancing. Yeah, uh, I don't think there's going to be a blood plague here, so I think we'll be okay. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this before. This is the first time we've seen a, uh, a, a movement like this happen in the same way. I hope this is a wake up call for some people. Well, I think that, I mean, like for the WoW community, I think that it will be. For the Twitch community, I think that like really what this should give people an idea of is, you know, these chats and everything like that and these communities that are built around, uh, like it's always like banter is very hard to parse out. Like, what really is banter and what's, uh, what's serious, you know, negativity stuff, right? And, like, there's a lot of talk of, like, people being snowflakes or whatever for banning people who are uh, saying negative things about them or anything like that. And ultimately, I hope that this kind of, it shows what the real outcome for that is. And that's really what matters the most is that making sure that people realize where this actually goes and what it comes from banter should be between close friends well that's what makes it so weird right is that people develop these parasocial relationships with streamers and they think that the streamers are their close friends which is why they feel comfortable bantering with them and saying things that they would only say to their close friends wait is there another layer I think that something that's like really kind of heartening about this is that even when there's just a few people, they still have their own little event. You know, they still have their own, their little small event. And I, I feel like that's just such a, such a genuine thing. Uh, check hoard on retail. Okay, I will check hoard on retail. Give me one second, I'll go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys take the uh, take your screenshots and uh, remember this moment. Remember this day. It's uh, ten years from now, people will not forget this. This will be like this will be one of those moments uh, in the future where people look back on it and remember it. So where are they here? Uh, is it in this area? Wow. Even on Horde, they're doing it. It doesn't matter, Alliance or Horde, Retail or Classic. Uh, does this make you proud of the community and WoW? I don't think that anything, like, I, I don't know anybody who wouldn't feel that way. Like, I, I think this is exactly what it does. Like, there's even, like, as I said, man, it's the little small groups. The, the little small groups that I think are so, uh, that they mean so much. I don't think there's anybody on this server at all. There's like nobody period on this server. Um, who's this guy? Come outside? 
Wait, come outside. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit, dude. Holy shit, man. All right, let me try another server too. L let's go to another one. Even though it's 6 a.m. in Australia, people are still gathering in respect for uh, for Byron. So even the Australians at 6 a.m. are showing up. Fuck, man. That's incredible. That's actually fucking incredible, man. Well, even the people from Ragnaros. Holy shit. Ragnaros server. Turning up and still showing, showing that they care, man. That's really good to fucking see. That is great to fucking see, man. I feel like people haven't really realized how big of a, of a community we have here on Twitch. Like, there's a lot of people that are in our community and people that want to be, uh, th that want to be involved. You know, we have a very big community here. Yeah. This is the top post on all of Reddit. Like, this is how much it matters to so many people. Out of every single thing else in the entire world, people chose that this was the most important fucking thing. And to think about that, uh, it, it's incredible. Like, we, we have an amazing, massive, and meaningful community. And it's something that, uh, it's on a private server? Wait, there's actually a- uh, wait, they're showing us a TBC private server? Let me see here. Even like a random fucking TBC private server. Look at that. Yeah, I wanted to go through all of these different groups because I want people to get an idea of like how impactful and how big this really is. Uh, it's not just a few people. I might see somebody use those, those shoulders too. It's always good to see. Um, fucking, there's not just like a few people or anything, man. It's like a massive amount of people that have all come together to make this happen. Uh, Bartholius. Oh, this is a, uh, isn't this a Australian server? <sighs> Fuck yeah, dude. At six in the morning. Six in the morning. People still fucking showed up. Can you believe that? Hey, uh, check EU. Okay, I'll look at a few of them on EU. I know everybody wants to get their chance to be seen. And, uh, you know, I I'll do that. I might as well. It seems like a good thing to do. Am I already lagging? Oh my god. Uh, uh-oh. Okay, we're gonna probably need a server, uh, a server invite in just a minute here. You guys ready? Here it comes. There are so many fucking people that it can't even load them all. Holy fucking shit. Oh my god. Wow. Uh, did people stop here or is it just a bug? Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Okay, let me see. Holy fuck, man. Look at all these people. Jesus, my PC is going to die. Yeah, I feel like most people's are. Like, this is incredible. Look at all these guys. Wow. Fucking wow. Jesus, dude. Like, I just hope that at the end of this, people start taking everything more seriously. Yeah, nothing will change. I feel like it will. I mean, like, as time goes on, uh, things will change and they will get better. Now, obviously, it's not going to happen overnight. Uh, I think that's important to know. It's not going to happen overnight or, or whatever else like this. But um, uh, in, in general, I think that it will get better over time slowly. And that's really what it's about. It's not about something happening, you know, fucking immediately. Nothing changed after Etika. No, I feel like it has. Like, it's it's not going to be. Here's the thing. Is it's not going to be like the time. There's not going to be a point before and after. Like, you know, some person kills himself or some person dies. And, and like, there's not going to be an immediate culture change. It's a matter of 
of building momentum. It's a matter of time kind of changing it as things go on. And it's not going to happen immediately. It will happen as, uh, you know, as, as people every single time, let's say it like this, it takes down the toxicity by like 5%, okay? Uh, like, and this is just like a random number that I'm throwing out here, but this is kind of what I'm trying to say. Look at all these fucking people, man. Holy shit. Wow. Uh, can you visit Rekful's NPC in Tear Guard? Rekful has an NPC in Tear Guard? Wait, holy shit, there's an- Wow! How many of these fucking realms are there? Wait, look at all the horde! Oh my god! There's more horde here than Alliance! Look at this! Fuck, man. Jesus. Wow, is it- wait, oh my- look at all the horde! Holy shit! Oh my god! Wow. Like, yeah, EU is just insane. Wow. Yeah, dude. E Man, like, EU is fucking ridiculous. You guys are gods. Um, but yeah, holding people accountable, I think, is the next thing, the next option, and the next, like, thing that we need to do. And if you hold people accountable and you try to, uh, you know, create a better community, and I think Twitch, this is one thing I think Twitch needs to do. Like, I, you know, we talked a lot about community, but what does Twitch need to do? One thing that Twitch needs to do is they need to actually put work into their communities. They need to sit down and see these communities and look at the communities that this negativity comes out of and then sit down with the streamers that are proliferating and that are on top of that community. You know, they're, they're the leader of that community. Sit down with those streamers and figure out how to make that stop happening. That's what it really comes down to here, man. And uh, I'm not saying ban them. Like, that's not what I'm saying at all. Uh, I'm saying you sit down with them and you explain, okay, hey, this can't happen. And this is one thing that I want you to stop letting people do. And, you know, people are saying a lot of really bad stuff about this person, that person, or whatever. And, and because of that, we feel like, you know, this is harmful for the, uh, uh, for the community, right? And like, oh my God, look at all the horde. Holy shit! Look at this! Wow! Fucking wow, man. Even the horde. Start by banning the bad people? Uh, no, no, no. It, it's not about banning the bad people. I think that's really it. Just ban bad, uh, bad lecture works in Twitch chat? No, uh, you can't ban bad words. That's not the solution. Because the bad words, you, you're not... See, a word is just a word. It's the idea behind the word that's the problem. So if you ban the word, what what is what difference does that make? They're just using another word. You have to fight the idea. Banning words is what dumb people do because they don't know how to solve problems. It's that you can't ban stupid, you can't ban dumb, like you can't ban lazy, you can't ban fat, you can't ban ugly. Like you have to ban like all of these words and then people would just use different words instead of that. There's always a synonym. It's more complicated, but especially whenever you get into like banning all kinds of words, then you're just not solving the problem. You're doing the minimum amount because you don't know how to solve the problem. Do you think Ninja should apologize for what he said to a Wendy? Um, yeah, like, I, I would. I mean, again, like, yeah, of course I would. She's a fucking millionaire, and I'm supposed to feel sorry for her because she got her feelings hurt? Yes. Yes, I, I know this might be a surprise to you, um, but money does not mean that you don't have any feelings. And I, I really want to say this to you. I wish money was the only problem that I have. I really do. I, I wish money was the only problem that I have. No amount of money in the world is going to make my mom not have heart failure.
No amount of money in the world is going to make my dad remember things that he used to remember five years ago. No amount of money in the world is going to make me be able to see my friends and not notice that they're just a little bit older and some of them are starting to, you know, not really quite do as well. That doesn't matter. Like, I, I, I would trade away all my money to undo those things, and I can't do that. I get what you're saying. So does Kanye West. Having money isn't everything, but not having it is. I totally fucking understand. I remember whenever I was in your position. I hope you're never in mine. And uh, Wreckful NPC? Yeah, where is the, let's let's go. Yeah, where is the Wreckful NPC? I, I want to find that real quick and uh, see if I can take a look at it. Here. There it is. Yeah. Wow. I didn't even know this uh, this character existed, honestly. Uh, I, I, I had no idea. Wow. There we fucking go, boys.